Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Bad news for the Ukrainians. The Russians again deployed some uh, missile carriers in the Black Sea. Three of them with 24 Kinzhal missiles ready for attack. So this is for, I don't know, the 1st of January 2024. This is like a, hey, happy new year kind of thing. I don't know, but we're going to find out tomorrow. Today is the 31st. Tomorrow, obviously, the 1st. We'll find out. So I have two articles coming from the Ukrainians uh, claiming that the Russians deployed on a lot of vessels over there. So let's start with Ukrainska Pravda first. Russia deploys three missile carriers to Black Sea. Threat of attack is high. This is Sunday, the 31st of December, 2023. So let's look, let's look, let's uh, look, take a look over the de details here. Remember, three missile carriers out of what? I got here a little other article claiming, claiming that nine Russian warships on combat duty in Black Sea, no missile carriers. Now, this is again from Ukraine form. And here is, they say nine Russian warships. They're on combat duty in Black Sea, no missile carriers. This is at what? At 2.12 p.m. So it's 14.12 right here on the 31st of December. And we have this one at 9 o'clock, 9.10, 9 p.m. On the same date, they already brought three missile carriers. Whereas in the morning, uh, morning at 2 o'clock, I'm sorry, they had nine missiles, uh, nine warships without any missile carriers. So Russia's naval group in the Black Sea has increased to nine warships. No missile carriers were spotted among them. Black Sea right here. And they're talking about this area ready to attack Ukraine and they have some in the Azov and the Sea of Azov. So let's go back to this one with the nine ships. The relevant statement was made by the Ukraine South Operational Command on Facebook. It says that, according to South Operational Command, nine Russian warships are now combat ready in the Black Sea and one in the Sea of Azov. All enemy missiles carriers are staying within home stations. So what, in five hours it got to this? Uh, it seems like. Uh, someone is lying or what? Or maybe they don't have the, the information. Because look, this is nine o'clock and this one here was at two o'clock. So that's what? seven hours and in seven hours these guys brought over there or something like that anyway i'm not expecting them immediately they they left so let's go back to the first article and see what they have to say here and i have another i have another article and the map i showed you russia has moved three surface missile carriers two frigates and a corvette chevrolet corvette to the black sea oleg Keeper, head of the Odessa Oblast Military Administration, said on Telegram, the threat of a missile attack is extremely high. And I'm quoting, the enemy has put three surface, so that's not no submarine, missile carriers on combat duty in the Black Sea, two frigates and a corvette. 24 caliber missiles in total are ready for launch. On the evening of the 31st of December, an air raid warning was issued throughout Ukraine after a MiG-31K fighter capable of carrying an aeroballistic Kinzhal missile took off in Russia. So these are uh, two articles out of three and a map. So let's go now and see the last article that I have here ready for you, which comes again from Ukraine Forum. The same ones who gave us the information at two o'clock, now they give the information at nine o'clock. So that everything was updated at 9 p.m. Uh, Ukraine time, I guess. Ready? Here it is. Ukraine Form 1, and this is Ukraine Form 2. This one was with nine Russian warships. This is updated. Three Russian missile carriers with 24 calibers on board combat ready in the Black Sea. Time, 30th of December, 31st of December, 2022, 9.29 um, p.m. All right, so let's see what these guys are saying. Three missile carriers with 24 caliber type cruise missiles on board have joined Russia's naval group in the Black Sea. Who's this weasel? Jesus Christ. Hide him. I want to see his melon over there a little bit. 
the dome. <laughs> All right, so three, three surface missile carriers, two frigates, and one small size ship. Missile ship have entered combat duty in the Black Sea. A total of 24 caliber type missiles are ready to be launched. The report states. The Southern Defense Forces warned that the threat of Russian missile strike is extremely high and urged Ukraine to pay attention. Palabap, poop, 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 zap, zap. And now, a reminder that on the afternoon of the December 31st, 2023, nine, nine Russian warships were remaining in the Black Sea, but no missile carrier were spotted among them. So it's nine, nine plus three is 29. <laughs> okay. So they got, my friends, over there, 12 uh, vessels, surface vessels with three caliber uh, carriers, total of 24 volleys. We'll see how they play volley a little bit over Ukraine. And uh, the MiG-31K took off with Kinzals. That means the Russians are going to um, push harder now. Why? I suspect is uh, something that I read in Miyamoto Musashi's Gori no Sho. Gori no Sho was one of, I think, two books that Miyamoto Musashi, the famous Japanese um, sword man, uh, wrote in, in 1640, I think it was, because he died in uh, 1645. He was born in uh, uh, 1584. Anyway, Miyamoto Musashi. So he wrote this one at the end of his life, the one who never lost a, a fight. And um, he said in his Gori no Sho, like the art of war of Sun Tzu, kind of. But it's more strategic. Uh, Sun Tzu is more general. Uh, both together and not only you can use for your life, not for necessary uh, no combat like this, but life is a fight. So he says over there that when you figure out that the enemy is faltering or is starting to lose then you put everything you got on that to destroy him right there uh well i don't know i uh did that one time in one of my fights and it didn't work out uh, i didn't uh, knock him out or uh, destroy him but i didn't um, win conclusively so he was a uh, hit uh, i know I, I hit him hard he was <laughs> And then when I threw everything on him, he didn't give up. Great. He was a great fighter. Um, he's not anymore because we are old, but he was very good. So nevertheless, uh, he was a national champion at one point as well. So um, here it is, my friends. Maybe Russia right now feeling, smelling the blood. Uh, they decide to throw more than before on the Ukrainians. We'll see if they're Ukrainians or not Ukrainians, NATO will uh, say time out or not. I suspect they will not. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.